Webbies, lots of stuff coming up today. Facebook defriender gets dissed by Facebook, a Charlie Sheen browser blocker, and an interview with the founder of Hashable. I'm Pilpina, and this is Webbeat TV. If you see your friends drop like flies, all on Facebook, that is, you can now find out why. There is a new application that tells you when people are defriending you. Not, I was going to say that, but in the two seconds this app actually lived, Facebook shut it down. The app was called Defriend Alert, and it basically just sent an email whenever your peers would do the unthinkable, defriending you. Facebook, however, said no to Defriend Alert, just like a similar iPhone app that tried to do the same thing back in January. Looks like we're just going to have to maintain our friendships manually. Gosh. And I already got a bunch of comments on the TeamViewer giveaway. TeamViewer gives you access to business or home computers on the internet from anywhere in the world and interact on it as if you were sitting right in front of it. And they have a giveaway for you. Yes, if you want to get a one-year premium license, which by the way is worth almost 1400 bucks, I might add, just leave a comment at webbeat.tv slash TeamViewer. I'm a total freaking rust out from Mars. Baby, come on, bro. I got to tackle blood. Baby, you bottle my brain and be like, dude, can't handle it. Went there, went there, went, went everywhere. Are you also getting sick of seeing winning tiger blood and everything else, Charlie Sheen? Well, there's a cure for that, my friends, and it comes in the form of a browser extension called Tinted Sheen. Charlie Sheen browser blocker. Tinted Sheen basically blacks out all mentions of the actor and catchphrases like winning. It gets rid of any unwanted Sheen. If you're not sure what all this Charlie Sheen fuss is about, check this out, an awesome blog post by John P. All right. And here's a nice new startup I came across. I personally don't go out for dinner a lot. <laughs> Come on, I'll give you a table. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We've been waiting here. Now, I know we were ahead of that guy. The last time I did, we stood in line for more than an hour. Mr. Cohen, very nice man. He lived on Park Avenue. <laughs> Where am I? Mind you, it was Valentine's weekend and we didn't make reservations, but still, if I would have known about Local Mind, we might have saved some time. With this new app, I could have pinged someone at the busy restaurant and asked how long the line was. Local Mind basically lets you connect with people at a certain location. If you want to know what the weather is like in Florida right now, or need to know if your local bar is busy, just ping people at that location. It works with Foursquare, Gowalla, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't have their smartphone app, you can also use their web-based version. Definitely an app to keep an eye on. Moving on, so I don't have a lot with numbers and math, except for perhaps pi. In Dutch, it's pronounced p. And in high school, when we were so cool and all, my friends used P or Pi to spell my name, Pilpina. So when I came across this next video, I felt like it was partly made for me. A musician interpreted the number Pi, you know, 3.14159265, into music notes. So this is what pi sounds like. Isn't that awesome? It's the work of Michael John Blake, all in anticipation of March 14th, International Pi Day. Yes, there is such a thing. And the website of the day is... Hashable. Hashable basically means the end of business cards, or does it? Well, it's a very interesting networking app that lets you exchange your business information, keep track of your strongest relationships, and discover new people by seeing who your friends are meeting. It's an iPhone, Android, and Twitter app and lets you date stamp, time stamp, and geography stamp any person you meet. It's a very cool network tracking tool. Webby blogger Ross LaRocco spoke to the CEO of Hashable this week. Take a look. It's basically like a way to ditch your physical business cards, right? You don't need them anymore unless you really like them. Uh, we can peaceably coexist with them, but you don't need them. Um, the great thing about Hashable is that you can send someone your business card, they can reciprocate whether they're a user or not. You get a nice a little alert in your app telling you that that person has sent their business card information back to you. Um, it goes into an address book. You don't have to type anything. Um, super easy. 
So this is going to go crazy at South by Southwest, I bet, Oh, right? no. No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> saying that. Nice try. They are going to South by, though, and so are we. Callie Lewis, John P., and I will travel down to Austin. So if you want to meet up, check out our schedule at geekbeat.tv slash sxsw. We will upload a bunch of videos to our YouTube channels and, of course, to webbeat.tv. So if you can't make it yourself, we will take you there. All right, webbies, have an awesome weekend. Doi! I said my name, and I said webbeat. That is good. Yeah. I figured out I would throw that in there again. It's on Facebook, that is. You can now find out why. There's a new application that tells you when people are defriending you. Not. I was going to say that, but in the two seconds this app actually lived, Facebook shut it down. The app was called Defriend Alert and basically just sent on. No. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Cartwright! <laughs>